Good afternoon, Houston, and good afternoon, YouTube. Random Chaos coming at you today on the 22nd anniversary of 9-11. I don't think I have to uh, remind every, anyone uh, what happened 22 years ago in New York City. Uh, but uh, it was one of the darkest days in American history. And um, I'm out here today at Market Square Park in Houston. And there is a water pressure machine behind me making a lot of noise. But uh, I'm going to try and avoid that. But uh, I am here at Market Square Park at Lauren's Garden. And Lauren was one of the victims who was on Flight 93. Flight 93 was the plane that crashed in the field in Pennsylvania as it supposedly was headed towards the White House. But passengers aboard that flight overtook the terrorist, tried to stop him, but the plane ended up crashing anyway. So I kind of consider them heroes, being brave enough to take on the terrorist on that plane. But anyway, I'm here at Market Square Park, and I just wanted to show you a little bit. And here it is, the memorial for Lauren. I love how the mist is coming up behind the waterfall there. And I believe each of these rocks also represents the victims of the plane that crashed into the Pentagon. And these smaller ones right here are for the uh, victims of the Twin Towers. It's a really nice little memorial, nice and peaceful out here. Except for that water pressure machine making a lot of noise. I can still hear it over here, but yeah. Each one of these little rocks is for everybody that was inside the towers when they came down. And these bigger ones were the people who died at the Pentagon. Now over here is a little plaque dedicated to uh, Lauren Catuzzi Grandolas, Grandolas, I hope I say her name right. I would say if you want to read this, press pause. I don't want to read it out loud right here. Look at that right there. In the memory of Lauren Catuzzi Grancolas on US Flight 93. She was a native Houstonian too. She was the only woman from Houston who was on Flight 93. And even sadder, I also read that uh, she was also three months pregnant with her first child. So that's, that's that, that, that just makes it even worse. I mean, bad enough it was one person, but a second little person. Now, this is really nice out here. And there was also a bust of Linda. I hope I can get this. It's kind of sh a lot of shade right here. And these flowers look new. I'm sure her family comes around once a year or more than that even. Pay their respects. I don't know if I can read that. Her name engraved into the uh, stone here. Yeah, this is a really nice little park. People can sit here, hang out. Enjoy the day out here. And right next to it is a little restaurant called Nico Nico's. And down here is a plaque on the, on the ground here. It says, Lauren's Garden is dedicated to the love and memory 
of all the of all who were lost in the attacks of September 11, 2001. There's a little bit of a poem right here. Like I said, I hope it, I don't know if it's going to turn out, but uh, if you want to pause the video and read that, feel free. This is the rest of Market Square Park, where Lawrence Garden is located, right behind these uh, flowers. And this is the rest of Market Square Park. Really nice park, a really small park. But I, I, I sometimes see a lot of people out here hanging out. They bring their kids out here to play, or they go over here to Nico's and get something to eat. They have a nice uh, dog park, let your dog run around right over there by that fence. And the guy is spraying off the, uh, the pathway there. Hopefully the, my voice is coming out too. However, you know, this is something we'll never forget, I mean. The attacks of 9-11, something I remember well. They say, you know, people always remember where they are, where they were, I mean, when it all happened. And I was living in Massachusetts at the time. And like I said, I remember exactly where I was when in 2001 on 9-11, uh, I was home with my daughter who was about three or four years old at the time. And we were watching TV, I was home with her, and my wife was at work. And uh, we're sitting there, my daughter's playing, we're watching cartoons. My wife calls me, tells me to put it on, uh, uh, on the news, something's going down in New York City. She said a uh, plane crashed into the World Trade Center. So I put it on the news, and yeah, I saw the smoke coming out of the side of the building, and I was like, wow, you know, I thought it was, like most people, they thought it was a bad accident at first. But within a few minutes of me watching the news, the second plane hit the other tower, and uh, I knew it was no accident, you know. Uh, and I honestly thought we were uh, about to go into World War III. So I called my wife at work and told her, I don't know what I just saw, but a second plane hit the other tower and she's at work. So I hear her like, yelling her coworkers because they didn't have a TV. They didn't, you know, have much going on. And uh, I could hear people in the background like, oh my God, you know. And I, 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 I told her, you know, hey, I'm, I'm going to watch this for a bit. I'll let you know as soon as that big loud truck goes by. Um, so I told her I'll call her when I find out more. So I hung up on the phone and my daughter's asking, you know, what's that, daddy? You know, and I, I told her, well, it's, it's not good. And that's all I could say. I didn't know what, how to, what to say to a three-year-old, four-year-old. And... Uh, but yeah, a little bit later was when the Pentagon was attacked. So I called my wife again and, uh, you know, she's like kind of freaking out on the phone and she's yelling at her coworkers what's happening now or then at the, at the time. And we're talking and I, I told her, you know what, get ready to come home. I don't know what's going on, if this is going to be a worldwide thing. And um, so I hung up again and I told her I'd let her know when I find out some more stuff. And yeah, a little bit later, Flight 93, which is this memorial is dedicated to for uh, Lauren, and actually all of them, all the people is, is dedicated to all of them. But uh, 
Anyway, yeah, that happened in Pennsylvania with a plane crash in the field. So I called my wife again, and yeah, we're getting worried, you know, and uh, I'm actually making plans to get out of town. And, uh, you know, so I, I watched it all day long, and when she came home from work, you know, she was watching it, and, you know, what was unfolding, uh, the president was talking, uh, President Bush, and, uh, you know, it, it just went on, and I even, like, one of the guys I work with now, he told me he was here in Houston when 9-11 went down, and uh, he told me he came into town, in the downtown here, on the bus, he was going to work. He was running a little bit late. He said he didn't know what happened. And once he got off the bus, there, he noticed it was really quiet downtown. And there were police telling people to get back on the bus and get out of downtown. So they, they evacuated downtown Houston. They evacuated Boston, Massachusetts also. And, you know, uh, he said it was just chaos. He, he didn't hear anything yet. So he was... He kind of didn't believe it. Someone told him what was going down in New York City. He said he didn't believe it at first until the police, Houston police, told him, get back on the bus, go home, get away from downtown right now. We're shutting it down for now. And uh, so I thought that was really creepy, you know. I mean, I was outside of Boston. I wasn't living in Boston at the time, but I was outside north of Boston. Uh, but, you know, uh, so I didn't see any, see the evacuation in Boston, but I heard about it. They were getting people in the safer places because of the places like the Prudential Tower and the John, John Hancock Tower in Boston. And plus they got the the Chase Tower here. In fact, I almost can see it from here, but uh, yeah, they have a lot of tall buildings in Houston and just about any major city. But, uh, yeah, so I just wanted to come out here today and uh, just stop by this, take a little video, you know. I, I, I attempted this a couple of years ago, but uh, I ended up, the, the video didn't come out good, so hopefully this one's coming out better. But anyway, I got to get going to work soon. And, uh, like I said, just never forget. And of course, like I said, I'm sure everybody in the world knows the history already. So, and yes, Bin Laden was captured and killed. So, that's one less person we have to worry about. Anyway, until next time I bring you some more random chaos, I'll bring you some more random chaos. One more thing I wanted to show you real quick is this uh, outside this little reflecting pond right here outside of the Lawrence Garden. Another place where people sit. I often see people sitting here today. It's not one of them right now. There's other events going on today to memorial for 9-11. And I also found out there's also another memorial at University of Houston. Uh, I won't be going to that right now because I'm off to work soon. And uh, but they also have a reflecting pun. But anyway, stay strong, America. Stay strong, everybody. Stay awesome. Love you.